Well, a thousand people a day will soon be tested for coronavirus at one hospital thanks to scientists and students from the medical school of the local university. They have the skills and the equipment which they normally use for research. And a professor told ITV News today that the UK has been way behind in testing. Well, it's not the only thing the university is doing to help, as Mark Goff now reports. This is Dr Matthew Broom's protective face mask, which he's made from everyday items. A plastic bottle, sticky tape and a shoelace. Full face face visors protect from particles coming into contact with the face, including people coughing and sneezing. They also make room for standard masks and if angled correctly, they won't create condensation and obstruct your view. He's a professor of physics at the University of Warwick, but it's not just his department which is helping fight COVID-19. From next week at the University Hospital Coventry in Warwickshire, staff and students from the medical school at the University of Warwick will begin testing 1,000 NHS staff and patients a day for COVID-19, using equipment normally used for research at the university. The professor in charge says the UK should have been testing much sooner, with universities and hospitals collaborating. We set up this week, we're ramping it up to 1,000 tests a day from next week. And that's just one hospital. So you see, you know, if other hospitals that have these same sort of facilities had the access certainly to the reagents, then I don't think there'd be any problem in ramping that up really quickly. But actually that expertise is already exists in many of the clinical virology laboratories up and down the country. And one of the things that's a bit of a conundrum to all of us is why haven't we mustered those resources earlier on? The only way that you can contain this, as evidenced by South Korea, is by testing and tracing. The only way that you can deal with and release people from lockdown is by knowing where the virus is in the community. Of course, you have to test patients in hospital. And remember, it's not just one test. You have to test the same person multiple times to see what's going on with the virus. But you have to be out in the community. This is a new type of ventilator being developed by the Warwick Manufacturing Group at the university. More recently, staff here have been inventing batteries for electric cars. They're developing this ventilator with engineering firms from around the UK. And it works without patients having to have tubes placed in their windpipe. The current ventilator requires the person to be sedated and then a tube is inserted into their airway and then the machine does the breathing. This is where we encase the torso of the individual in a case and take air in and out under pressure to breathe for them so they're actually awake. Um, Patients then clearly don't need sedating, which may need less care from the NHS teams that are looking after all our COVID patients. Elizabeth Bishop is doing a PhD in engineering, and she's found a way of making face masks in minutes rather than hours using 3D printing. Current masks take about two and a half hours to print. I've shortened this down so we can print a single mask in five minutes, which means we can do hundreds a day. And the need is urgent. Mark off. ITV News.